Hi everyone and welcome to another Florida project. I have my amaryllis over here and normally these are grown indoors uh, but in Florida I found out these actually can be grown outside. You don't have to dig them up for the winter. So that's what I will be doing with these uh, bulbs I have in my container. And I have a one flower that is already blooming now. Uh, let's see here. So I'm going to cut this off and put it in my little vase here. Let's see. Oops. Let's put this back. Okay. And I also have a little twig here. So let's use my pruners. And let's cut this part off. And let's see here, I'm going to cut it about this long. Okay, because uh, amaryllis uh, stems, they're hollow. And I have seen people like put a little bamboo steak or some kind of uh, steak like inside so it doesn't break. And I almost forgot, i got to remove the pollen from here. So I have a napkin here. I'll just let's see. Let's do this flower first. Oh, it looks like some of it got on the plant, but that's okay. Okay, so there's one. Let's do the next one. the last one here. And the reason I wanted to remove the pollen, uh, so when I bring the flowers inside, it doesn't fall on my counter or the table, wherever I'm gonna put the flowers. And also, this way the pollen doesn't get on white flowers. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull this out. And I'm going to use knife to cut this off. Okay, looks like the knife was very nice and sharp. And now I have my twig, which I actually need to make it a little bit shorter. Let's do that. Okay, let's see. That should be good, I think. Okay, so now I'm just going to insert this twig inside. Ooh, actually, it's not going in as easily as I was hoping. Hopefully, I'm not damaging the stem. Now it looks, yep. Yeah. Okay, so that is all the way in. And again, this um, stem is hollow, so it can break easily. But this way, it's just going to stay up straight and hopefully no cracks or breaks. And also at the bottom, I will use some rubber bands uh, because I read online that if you don't do that, uh, the, the stem will kind of start cracking and curling up and we don't want that to happen. You could also use floral tape, but unfortunately I don't have any on hand right now. So I will just uh, get some rubber bands and do that. Oh, let's see here. Okay, so let's put this amaryllis into the water. Okay, okay. And like I mentioned, the amaryllis bulbs, they grow outside in Florida. Let me actually cut this down just a little bit further. There it is. So I, what I will be doing next, I will plant these into my flower bed. And hopefully, eventually, these will multiply. And also, I'm expecting to have more flower stalks. So, so yeah, we'll plant them outside. And hopefully, they will start growing very nicely. Even though they were doing good in the container. But I think they will be much happier in soil in the ground. So, let's take them over to my garden bed. And get these planted. Mm -hmm. 
amaryllis bulbs will go right in this area we are planning to make a huge flower bed over here we kind of like started planting some things over here a couple things here and there uh, well yeah, eventually it's gonna be all big flower bed and I have uh, more amaryllis bulbs right in this area And they actually need to be deadheaded. Some of them have spent blooms now. So let's do that first. Uh, looks like this stem is completely done. So I think I'm just gonna cut it back all the way down. Yeah, that one is completely done. This one is, let's see here, just this part. Mm, this one's pretty much done. Let's cut this one off. We have a nice one growing here, couple over here. Um, and this one, let's see. Looks like there's a little leaf that needs to be taken out as well this flower here I'm just gonna cut down and put with my white one okay all right actually this one is a little too long let's cut it maybe about right here and actually it seems like knife is a little bit better cutting this but it's fine it, it worked fine okay so let's put this into the water as well uh, and before actually I do that, I want to cut this twig again and insert on inside. So let's see here. Let's cut it right here. Okay, let's put this down. And these are not open, but inside they will open completely. There's these two big ones and a tiny one right here. Okay, so let's put this twig inside and put it into the water. Okay, so these are the white amaryllis bulbs. And I am gonna plant them right here by the other ones. Eventually, I might have to move them, but for now, I just don't want to spread things out too much. Um, as we develop this flower bed, I might have to, or most likely, I'll have to move things around. But for now, I feel like this is a good spot for it. And they just kind of will go right next to each other over here. Okay, so this is the one that I cut flower off of. Okay, let's go ahead and put it right here. Maybe a little bit of soil. Because I don't want to plant them too deep. They don't like too much water. Okay, and then let's take out the next one. We'll go right over here. And my last one. Cover it back up with soil. Okay, so that looks good. And soil here is really sandy as to be expected in Florida. But right over here I have some good soil. So let me just get some of this. And I'm just gonna put some on top. It's just some nice rich soil.
and this is it for my short project i'm gonna bring the amaryllis bulbs inside and enjoy their beautiful blooms and thank you guys so much for watching and have a wonderful day happy gardening